Hello, friends of the farm. So I'm gonna take you around here real quick and just show you where we stand. Ay ay ay! Speak about standing. I'm about to fall down. These uh, these giant chunks of rock are not easy to walk on. So this is actually the end of the first full week of activity here. The first week was just Thursday and Friday where they did the excavation of the hole. Then Monday they laid the footer. Tuesday, if I remember correctly, the gravel came. Wednesday we had the rainy day, I believe. Thursday the block was, I don't know, Wednesday the block was delivered and then Thursday they started putting the concrete block up and this is this side of this part is the master bedroom and bathroom the master closet and on the other side is the great room over on this side so here is the where the footer is for the front entrance if all goes as I see, um, as we plan, so this concrete block will be there for that footer. And that will hopefully end up at the proper height so that we can bring in a large barnstone to be our front step. So coming around the other side, this side is the great room. And then as it as it nooks in there slightly right here and all of that part is the kitchen and a hallway back little hallway back to the laundry area and a half bathroom here and then over there where that footer is, that is for the side porch or front porch. Depending how you look at it, that will be where our primary entrance is. And then this area over here is the garage. And as our, as my last build video ended, we realized that the split face block was not on site, but they did deliver that on Friday. And I'll show you a close up of what that looks like. So that is the split face block. And that is to go everywhere where the foundation elevation is um, exposed on the outside around the edges of the house with the intention of that looking like uh, sort of more of a the barnstone foundation. Now, clearly the old barnstones would not necessarily have been all the same size, but that is what we are doing with the current new materials in order to get that vibe of the old early homes so that's the difference between there is a set with the flat face if you can see the flat face on the stone or the concrete block rather and that is the actual split face block so we had talked about when we were making our decisions about what we wanted to do or how we wanted to do it there was the possibility of adding a veneer on the front of the exposed and you know there's um, one of the builders had told us that that requires sealing on a regular basis sealing s-e-a-l-i-n-g not c-e-i-l-i-n-g clearly um, but that that meant that that was going to be 
and requires some maintenance. And for the most part, in what we're trying to do is we want to reflect the look, meaning using the, the concrete, the split face block, but not have the artificial look or the faux look necessarily with something that is supposed to be something else but isn't. So that's where we stand at the moment. Some of that split face is down, down in the bottom of the hole there. And then there's quite a bit more up there on the foundation of the future garage. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what this next week brings. The glass block windows were also delivered with this load. Um, they will have vents. There are two on this side and two on the opposite side. And I'm not sure there might be, there may have been another one down at the end of that run below where the where the kitchen will be. It's so hard to envision what the size of each of the rooms are, but I know that the kitchen is about, I think it's about 17 and a half feet across in both ways, the kitchen portion, not the laundry room and bathroom part, but the kitchen por portion is, so 17, about 17 and a half feet from where the side porch door will enter to the other side. And our plan is to have a 12 foot run of cabinets on that wall, and then about a 17 foot run of cabinets on the back wall with no uppers on that 17 foot run. And that area where it necks in a little bit between the great room and the bedroom and then this the center section where this large kitchen well kitchen dining area will be or eat-in kitchen because that's just the way we live now formal dining rooms just that's not how Jim and I live and we want this house to be comfortable for us so in that area we're not quite sure yet and the, the people who are taking care of supplying the lumber will really determine based on the design if we need to have some wing walls and honestly I'm I'm quite frankly hopeful that we do have wing walls because that will make a difference for some of our furniture placement and it'll add a corner or a couple of corners for corner cabinets I don't have any corner cabinets yet So I hope you will like and subscribe, comment below, did you build your forever home or did you build a, a home? Maybe you've built several. What would you recommend? What would you have done different? What's your favorite part of your forever home? And then if you are watching this on your cell phone. There is a little spot to hit a bell and that helps you get, that actually will get you notified when there is a new video that we have released. And I am trying to do at least one new video every day. I just started this and I have so many ideas for more content. Hopefully you'll watch some of the older ones that I've posted if you're following along for this build. This is a, going to be a Cape Cod. And if you like all of our early American style, primitive style videos also, I did just upload one and there'll be another one coming with that one too. So keep watching, like, subscribe, share with your friends so we can get this channel up off the ground. Take care everybody. I hope you are having a beautiful weather week where you're at. 
and I'm looking forward to reading all of your comments. Take care.